you have a telemetry capable D mode module you will find two two-way switches at the back of the module by those you can set whether if you would like to use the V8 non telemetry communication mode or the D telemetry communication mode you can set the modes by moving the switches if the switch 1 will be on position and the switch 2 will be in off position it means that you're going to use the V8 non telemetry mode if both switches are in the off position you're going to use the D telemetry mode if you have a V8 mode module you will not find these switches at the back of the module first let me show you how you can bind this receiver in V8 mode if you have a V8 mode uh, transmitter module you can use only this binding method if you have a D mode transmitter module you can use this as well and the D mode binding method as well which I will show you later but in case of you have a D mode module you need to be sure that the two two-way switches are in the right position according to the previous slide so switch 1 is in on position and switch 2 is in off position in this demonstration I'm using not the same but similar receiver but don't worry everything is identical so for binding you need to switch on the transmitter in binding mode and how you can do that is that there is a button at the back of the uh, module this and you need to hold it down while you switch on the transmitter so let me do that and if you do that did that right the red light will flashing and the transmitter will beeping so right now the transmitter is in binding mode the next thing you need to do is to power up the receiver so let me power up the receiver and while you do that you need to push the button on the receiver that's all if the red light is flashing it means that the binding was completed so let's check if that was really successful so let me move remove the cable let me switch off the transmitter okay and now let's just power up the receiver again Okay, as you can see, it, the red light is flashing and waiting a signal by the transmitter. Okay, let me switch on the transmitter. And as you can see, green light can be seen, which means that the transmitter and the receiver connected to each other. So it was successful. If you have a D mode transmitter module, you can bind this receiver in D mode. However, you will not get back any telemetry data because, as I mentioned, this receiver cannot handle telemetry channel. To bind that in D mode, you need to have a D mode receiver, as I mentioned, and you need to be in D mode. So be sure at the back of the module you set both switches into off position. To bind the receiver, first you need to switch on the transmitter in binding mode. As how you can do that is at the back of the transmitter in, on the module there is a button this you need to hold it while you switch on the transmitter you can check if you did it correctly that the red light is flashing and the transmitter is beeping which means that the transmitter is now in binding mode the next thing that you need to do is to put the jumper into the receiver between the first signal and the second signal pins so like this okay now the last thing that you need to do is to power up the uh, receiver you need to take care that 
the upper pins are the signal the middle is the positive and the uh, last one is the negative so you need to take care when you power it up okay the red light flashing means that you did it correctly so the binding is completed so let's check that first i remove the power from the receiver then you need to remove the jumper okay so let me first switch off the transmitter then to check if it was completed I mean the binding let's switch on the transmitter again okay and now without the jumper you can check if you power up the receiver the green light green lamp will be visible which means that the transmitter and the receiver are successfully connected to each other please subscribe feel free to share these videos and do not forget to raise your questions or comments thank you for watching